Coming up in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this fabulous Mardi Gras bundt cake. So keep watching to find out how I made it. to make a Mardi Gras festival, carnival, fun bundt cake. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. It's a white chocolate mud cake. I'm gonna garnish it with some white chocolate ganache. I'm then gonna color some uh, royal icing with purple, yellow, and green, which are the typical Mardi Gras colors that we see. And I'm gonna finish it off with some metallic sprinkles to make it fun and festival, and it's gonna look so great. So I've always wanted to go to New Orleans, especially around Mardi Gras. It's been on my bucket list for a while now. Last year when I flew to America, I kind of didn't get to go because I flew too close to the time Time and it just didn't work out but anyway it's on my bucket list and I'm definitely gonna get there someday I cannot wait to see all the live jazz music and taste one of those famous beignets pastries with the icing sugar all over them they look absolutely amazing and last year I actually went out to the Cork Jazz Festival, Festival uh, the Cork Jazz Festival here in Ireland and it was my first experience of live jazz music and I absolutely fell in love and I said I definitely have to go to the birthplace of jazz music which is of course New Orleans so it's definitely one for me I'm definitely gonna get there at some stage hopefully I can do a vlog when I go there who knows but anyway today the closest I'm gonna get to Mardi Gras in New Orleans is this fabulous bun cake that I'm gonna make for you guys it's a showstopper I'm gonna incorporate the Mardi Gras colors, the purple, the yellow, the green, and I'm gonna color my cake batter with those colors, make a fabulous bun cake, so when you cut into it, it'll reveal all the colors, and then of course, I'm gonna use those colors on the icing on the top so that you can really tell that it's a Mardi Gras cake. So when I thought about making this cake, I originally just thought of making a bun cake, and then I Googled some Mardi Gras images, and I realized that there's actually a traditional Mardi Gras cake called a king cake, which is using a bun tin as well, which was just really Really crazy and sometimes people put like little plastic babies in it I don't know what that's about but anyway there'll be no plastic babies in this cake today it's just gonna be a decadent white chocolate mud cake white chocolate ganache and we're gonna finish it with some icing sugar and sprinkles it's gonna be fabulous so let's get started for this you will need 250 grams of butter 180 grams of white chocolate two eggs half a teaspoon of vanilla extract 330 grams of castor sugar you will also need 180 mils of milk I have 225 grams of plain flour and 75 grams of self-raising flour in this bowl here. You will also of course need some food colorings today. I'm using yellow, green and purple to create that lovely Mardi Gras effect. And then you will also need some icing sugar for the topping later on. So let's get started. So to begin, what you want to do is take your white chocolate, your sugar, your milk, and your butter and put it into a saucepan. You're then gonna turn it on to a low heat and I'm just gonna stir all the ingredients together until everything has melted. You don't want to boil this or anything like that, you just really wanna melt it on a low heat. I'm then gonna transfer that to a bowl and leave it to the side to cool down for about 30 to 40 minutes. And you'll just feel the edge of the bowl and if it feels a lot cooler than when you first put it in, then it's good to go. We don't wanna add it when it's hot because the eggs may scramble and we really don't want scrambled eggs in our cake. My buttery white chocolate liquid to my flour and then I'm gonna add in my vanilla essence and of course my two eggs I'm then gonna whisk it together by hand I'm gonna divide the mixture by eye between three bowls and then gonna add my food coloring my green my purple and my yellow for that lovely Mardi Gras effect
added all the food colour, I'm just simply going to add all my mixtures into the bun tin a spoonful at a time and alternating between each colour as I go around the tin. you want your oven preheated to 170 degrees ready for your cake to go in. Your cake will take about an hour to cook and you'll know it's done when you insert a skewer and the skewer comes out nice and clean. So now that our cake is cooked I'm going to place it onto a wire rack to cool and in the meantime I'm going to focus on my white chocolate ganache. So for this you will need about 100 grams of white chocolate and 60 ml of cream. I'm going to add them to my saucepan and just heat them really gently until the white chocolate has melted. So now that our white chocolate ganache is cooling in the fridge, I'm now going to turn my attention to my royal icing. So I'm going to make three different royal icings in the colours green, purple and yellow of course for our Mardi Gras effect. You only need a really small bit of this because it's just for a little drizzle over the top to give those colours a pop on the top of the cake. So I'm just going to take a teaspoon of water and add that to a dessert spoon of icing sugar. I'm going to add my food colouring of course, mix it up and then pop them in some piping bags so that they're ready to pipe on top of our cake. So now I'm simply going to add my white chocolate ganache to the top of the cake. It's probably going to run down the side of the cake but that's okay, it's going to create a lovely effect. I'm then going to go in with my different colour icings that we made and of course finish it off with some lovely sprinkles. I've got gold and silver today to give that festival carnival feel and then I'm going to cut into it and hopefully see the fabulous colours on the inside. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's all finished. guys our fabulous showstopper Mardi Gras piece. I think it looks absolutely amazing. I love all the colours on the inside. Each slice is going to be different because of the way we've layered all the colours around. The white chocolate ganache, although it may not look much, it does add to the flavour. The white chocolate mud cake itself, I did have a little nibble already. It does taste amazing. It's so moist. And the sprinkles and the icing and the different colours just add that fun and carnival feel to the cake. I think it's so great. I'm so happy I made it now and I'm definitely going to be celebrating Mardi Gras with my fabulous cake here. So if you guys have enjoyed watching this tutorial, tutorial? So if you guys have enjoyed watching this tutorial today, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. All of Aretha.